All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to properly do a barbell front squat, which is one of the most important leg exercises that you can do to put size on your quads, and it requires some really proper form to make sure that it's a safe and effective exercise. We're gonna cover everything in this video, proper form, and I'm gonna give you some ideas on the proper reps and sets that you might wanna to do to incorporate into your programming. Let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com. All right, so the front squat. It's different than the back squat because instead of having the bar on our back, we're gonna be loading the bar in the front of our bodies. And what that does is puts the weight more in front of us, which causes our center of gravity to be a little different than if we load the bar on the back. And what that does is when we're coming down on the front squat, it's gonna engage our quads a lot more uh, than a back squat. So obviously both are very, very important leg motions. The front squat's just something that we can incorporate into our training. So I got my bar here, I'm gonna clean it on up. So this is the starting position of a front squat. Now, to really kick this off, there are two ways you can hold the bar in the front squat. The first and the preferred way is this elbows up rack position, where the bar is kind of sitting in the crux of my neck right here, it's really tight, um, and I'm staying as upright as possible, and my, my back is really upright and straight. If you do not have enough flexibility in your wrists to get into this position, you can alternately do the hands crossed over position right here, where I'm just kind of securing the bar onto my shoulders right here, but this position right here is preferable. Now, Important thing about the setup here, you wanna make sure that your elbows stay up. What you don't want is your elbows to start falling down like this, and the bar will start to almost roll off your body. Keeping your elbows up keeps that bar nice and up. Once this bar is in the nook right here, we're gonna be at a roughly shoulder width foot stance here. My back and my abs are nice and tight and straight. I'm gonna take a deep breath, and I'm gonna sit back in a chair. Just like any good squat, I'm gonna sit down and back, right to this parallel position. What I'm focusing on at this point is keeping my chest up and my elbows up. I'm not rounding here. I don't wanna round forward here. I wanna stay nice and upright right here. I'm gonna fire right back up out of the hole. So again, deep breath, keeping my elbows high, chin high, and I'm keeping my back nice up and straight, pausing here, driving right back up. A big mistake people make on the front squat is they allow themselves to turtle shell forward. If you do not have enough mobility in your back, you'll find that you start to roll forward like this and your back rounds. That puts a lot of stress in your wrists and it's not a good squat. Here, we wanna be in this position here, fire right back up. So, that is the barbell front squat. Obviously, I'm using a weight that is comfortable based on my strength to clean up in the starting position. But for you, what you might wanna do is be starting off in a power rack right here, where you're just gonna grab the bar and rack it right from here and then unrack it right here. So that is the key to the front squat. It is an extremely important leg motion that is great for building your quads. For me, I personally find that the front squat is a motion that's better to go lighter with higher reps on. Why? Because it's not super comfortable. Having the bar in the proper position keeps that front squat bar right in the pit of your throat. And it, it's heavy, gotta keep the bar up here. So I prefer to do front squats a little lighter than I do my back squats. I like to do three sets of, let's say, 12 to 20 reps. Um, doing higher volume, higher reps in the front squat is a great way to add size and strength to your legs. And again, important form point. I need you to make sure that your back is mobile enough and you're warmed up enough to maintain that upright position. If you're rolling forward when you're front squat because you don't have enough thoracic extension, thoracic extension is extension through this upper back to keep in this proper position, you're not quite ready to do front squats. So, Again, work on your mobility, and we have some links here around this video to some other amazing videos on our mobility routines we recommend you do before your lower body and upper body workouts that'll help open up your back. That is the front squat. I hope you learned a lot in this video. I wanna invite you to subscribe to us here at the Fit Follower Project. We post tons of videos every single week, not just on exercise tutorials, but how you should eat, how you should exercise, workout programs, how to stay motivated, all of that's here on our channel. And uh, we help busy fathers stay strong and healthy for their families. So I wanna invite you to subscribe and check out some of these other videos. I think you're really gonna like what you see. Thanks for being here, my friend. I'll talk to you soon.